Don't tell Roland. Okay, I'm counting up on my, mm. my, my fingers how many times a week I usually yeah. have french fries. Well, yeah. do french fries count I as a vegetable? That's I'm yeah, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I is, sure. It sure. is, it is a, a vegetable, mm -hmm. but what we do to the vegetable is probably what makes it more unhealthy than a vegetable. A deep fried vegetable. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Not so much a vegetable. Well, I don't know how many people are going to be eating french fries on Father's Day, but mm -hmm. starting off the forecast with Ooh. some good news, mm -hmm. your Father's Day is going to be beautiful with temperatures in the 80s and clear skies uh, and light winds, so perfect weather for that outdoor Father's Day barbecue. Let's take a look at how today stacks up to years past. 76 degrees today. Normal is 81. The record high is 101. And I don't believe we have even reached the triple digits yet. We did have a few very warm days a few weeks back, and we are looking to warm up again early next week. But first, we have to get through this minor cold front that is coming through our area tonight and tomorrow. So tonight, we have more clouds moving into the area with a shower chance starting after midnight tonight and lasting through Friday. But then sunny and warm this weekend. Temperatures are getting much warmer early next week for the official start of summer. For now, let's take a look at our radar. You can see there's a few patches of precipitation that could make their way through our area and probably what is causing our hazy conditions that we're seeing at the moment. But this is what we're looking at for tomorrow. You can see the majority of the precipitation will be to the north of the Treasure Valley, but we will see a bit of cloud cover. The sun could peek out. Uh, at some moments, but don't look forward to it for your Friday afternoon. And you can see uh, more precipitation is only going to move into the area through tomorrow afternoon and evening. But then by Saturday, looking at completely clear skies. So here's our regional forecast tomorrow. Twin Falls looking at 78 degrees with a low of 55, partly cloudy skies and warmer temperatures. And then up in Sun Valley is where they could see more of that precipitation. 64 degrees and 44 is the low with showers likely. Over in McCall, 58 showers and a little bit cooler low in the 40s. Over in uh, Ontario and Payette, 74 degrees is going to be your high with scattered showers. In Canyon County, looking at 76 degrees as your high scattered showers as well. And here in Boise, looking at Scattered showers increasing in the afternoon. Now here's a look at our seven day forecast. Looking at a beautiful weekend, sunny skies on Saturday, high of 76. Starting to warm up Sunday, high of 85. And then look at Monday, 93 degrees, sunny and hot. And Tuesday is the official start of summer. Looking at a high of 92, low of 61. And we'll stay pretty warm and sunny through the, the rest of uh, next week. So not much of a chance of showers yeah. tomorrow, but just be aware just that it's possible. Just be aware. Nothing that could cause any serious, you know, troubles for anyone or even the river, but it could happen. Okay. Coming up on KBOI 2 News, breaking down Boise's new composting program. What you can and can't put in those green bins.